I think it's time for a haircut. Welcome back to yet another edition of So You're Interested in the show where I break down an artist's discography in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible jumping off point in order to get into their catalog. And on this episode, we will dig into the chaotic, turbulent world of horror. Originally formed in Newark, New Jersey, this hardcore thrash rap group have since moved to LA where they still continue to create their insanely energetic music. Releasing their first track as horror in 2014, they've since put out countless numbers of singles, EPs, mixtapes, and studio albums. As always, I'll be recommending two albums and three individual tracks that I think you should be listening to if you want to get into horror. First, the albums. The first record to listen to from horror is their 2017 sophomore effort, United States of Horror. This record takes horror's brash and ugly soundscape to a whole new level, brandishing extremities like they're going out of business. Starting with War as Hell, you will immediately know what I'm talking about. The bass synths have been blown out, leaving a sonic wave in its wake, while the vocals scratch over the beat like steak knives on a chalkboard. Bleed War picks up the tempo, as it sounds much more like a thrash metal song than it does a hip-hop track. While War as Hell makes you want to take the streets back, Bleed War gears you up to be diving headfirst into a mosh pit. And finally, you get Knuckle Up. This track feels much more in tune to the modern concept of hardcore hip-hop with its deep percussions, eerie bass synths, and screamo vocals. Knuckle Up is pure chaotic evil. All in all, United States of Horror is not horror's best project, but it absolutely shows off what this group is capable of in a variety of different ways. The next album to listen to is Cyber Warfare, the group's 2019 LP. Cyber Warfare sees a shift in focus for the group's sound as they definitely rely way more on their hip-hop sound than they do their hardcore sound. This is obvious when listening to a track like Plexiglass. The beat is bouncy and intense, swirling bass, percussion, and static into a mix that only horror could conjure up. The lyrics and delivery are very much influenced by 80s hardcore punk repetition, making it a catchy mix to scream to. Next up, listen to Simon Phoenix featuring JPEG Mafia. Yet another political track, Peggy A's the OGM and ED in rapping about constantly being chased by the law, both literally and figuratively. The album then closes out with FOG or Fog. Fog leans back onto horror's hardcore side as they rely on their physical instruments to create a riveting track full of anger and unadulterated rage. Usually my biggest qualm with hardcore records are the drums, but I gotta admit this song's drums definitely walk the fine line between being overproduced and being too raw. A killer track off a killer album. Let's take on some tracks. The first track to check out from Horror is Lights Out featuring Three Teeth, which was released as a single in 2018. With the help of Three Teeth's industrial sound, Horror are able to come onto this track and release their deepest demons. Quite frankly, this is one of Horror's best produced tracks out there with these unsteady bass synths that just can't seem to sit still. Lights Out is an anthem against a government that wants to see the world burn with Horror leading the protest. Definitely a must listen. Next up, we get Punk Police featuring Nate No Face, which comes off of the Cyber Cop unauthorized mp3 ep which came out in 2018 this track chugs along like a train with no brakes the beat is weird and almost comical at times but it's the gravelly vocals that incite the anger and rage that horror have been so well known for not to mention at a runtime of a minute 30 seconds this track really does fly along while still leaving a lasting impression punk police is absolutely worth your time last but not least you need to make sure you listen to movie night featuring pink sifu off of the group's latest release blur mixtape strangely enough I would categorize the song much more of a trap song than a horrorcore song, which is kind of exciting considering we never get a chance to see this set of horror. I'll be real, there is nothing really special going on in this song, but it is a really good trap rap song. Not to mention, anything with Pink Sifu is automatically going to be good. This song has grown on me so much more lately, and I really hope that it can do the same for you. So, once again, all good things must come to an end, as this is all that I have for you on horror. Make sure you give them a listen, as they really do break the mold of what you might think horrorcore is. So make sure to subscribe to this channel for videos just like this every single Wednesday, along with Forever Spinning, which comes out every Friday. For the uninitiated, Forever Spinning is all about classic albums and the history behind them. And I'm still working on some new types of videos for this channel that I'm excited to try to start rolling out in the near future, I think. We'll see. But like I said, that's it. Get out, go into the world, enjoy some sunshine. If there is any, I have no idea. Maybe at this point, 2020 has just covered the planet in a giant cloud of smoke. So wear a mask, listen to horror, have a good life. See you next week.